Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Resident Evil 2. Now, where we last left off, after quickly arriving at, at the police station as Leon, after starting his route, we've quickly started gathering supplies from a whole bunch of ink ribbons to healing items, and we even found a shotgun on the first floor of the police station. So, all in all, things were looking good starting out until a big man with a green jacket from the freaking f fell from the freaking sky via helicopter right into the police station and decided to try and give me hell with his bare fists. But luckily for me, I had a shotgun with me, who I've taken to calling Charlie. And me and Charlie put the big scary man in the green coat in his place. At least so I thought. Because after I left the room he was in, he got back up and I'm quite certain that he and I are gonna have scuffle after scuffle on this grand adventure of mine. And I only pray that with each encounter, I'll have either a means to escape if I need to, or the means to take him down. As many times as it takes. Which will probably be a lot. Because he seems like a really tough bastard. So, yeah, beyond that, we haven't run into Claire yet. And I found a red jewel, also found a red jewel for the statue in the storeroom across from the chief's office on the second floor. So, I need to collect the other one here, which thankfully is not too far away from here. Before I can go back there, put the red st put the red stones in the w women relics right next to the big Tiberius statue and see what the good old Greek god or Roman guard, whatever he is, has something useful to give me. <clears throat> yeah, this doesn't look any different from before either, so I will just go ahead and move these statues. Right into the same spots as before. First we'll have our sun god right here and now our moon god you my lunar friend can go into this little corner here and gaze at our handsome friend Thank you, handsome friend. This jewel will come very much in handy. Oh, I forgot to put away the ink ribbons. Oh well, I can do that on my way back down. If I need to back go down, I think I'll... Hello, I hear a bunch of... Yep. I think there's three of them going by the amount of shuffling I'm hearing. Now, um... Oh, shit. I think I hit the other one right behind you, too, so... I hope it did. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm back in the yellow again. Star's office. Well, we might as well go in here and see what we can find. Oh, hell yeah. You bet your ass I'm gonna take this. Is there anything else in here I can use? No. Too bad. Thanks, stars. Maybe someday I will repay you. That is, of course, if I can't find you or if I forget. 
here. Young man. Still left your diary here, huh, Chris? You know, in retrospect, since your boss is pretty much on Umbrella's payroll, what made you think leaving a, what made you think leaving a diary like this where you talk about your plans to fight against Umbrella, along with all other kinds of top secret information that you know about them and their viruses, what made you think leaving that here would in any way be a good idea? Especially because your boss would have would have a very big vested interest in making sure that your plans fail. You're a silly goose, Chris. You perplex me. Hmm. What do we have here? Ammunition's always nice. There's trophies. I can find the film with Rebecca in here again if I search this enough times. There we go. Well, I'm obviously not going to be able to get any more items here. So I should go ahead and go back down to the dark room and drop these things off. Now let's put you here. You can go here next to your sibling. You can go here. I only save you for when I really need you. And as for you, Mr. Film, we can help you transition into a full grown picture. Mission accomplished. Now that we got that taken care of... Hey, what am I doing, Leon? What am I doing making you run around in circles? What's wrong with me? Am I going crazy? Probably am. Or maybe I already am crazy. Hey, Sherry! Hey! Wait! Didn't your parents ever teach you to listen to police officers? At least you were kind enough to leave this for me. Thank you. We got the diamond key from the looks of it. So we can go down and unlock the door to the evidence room and that office right next to it. And the room with that key item I saw, the magic mirror. So, at least now I know where I'm going to go next after this. Anyway, I believe Claire should be right at the end of this hallway now. Leon! Yep. Claire, you made it! Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Well... Shame that we don't actually talk much with these radios. Hindsight being 2020, for the most part, we might as well not even have them. Yeah, I'm gonna need another small key for this, clearly. Now, let me look at my items. Yeah, okay. I might as well go in this way and check out the library, because why not? 
I like libraries. Uh-oh. Are you fucking kidding me? The shutter that I set up with Claire is now busted. Yeah, until I forgot that was a thing. Shit. I'm gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of them when I go th inevitably go through that hallway. Well, could be worse, I guess. I could be dealing with Big Green, as I'll call him. The guy in the green trench coat, I mean, in case you, none of you guys know who I'm referencing. Also, also a reference to Dragon Ball. Either way, it's kind of, I think it's kind of appropriate, because at least he's a big guy and he's got a green jacket, so... Why not, you know? Yeah, that doesn't appear to be any different either, so all I really need to do is just move a couple of them to the side. Now you go here, and you go here. I think that was a chess piece. Yep, it's a bishop. So, the bishop plug. A plug of some sort in the shape of a bishop. Oh, uh, yeah. Wasn't there a guy who uh, worked around the watchtowers or something, or the sewage plants, who liked to play chess before he turned into a zombie? Probably is handiwork then. They put bit chess pieces on the plugs. Might as well go see what's through this door here. Probably another liquor. No, no liquor. Obviously, this, those stairs haven't been lowered. Hmm. There's nothing here. That's a real shame. Bit of a waste to come up here, then. So, before I go down back to the first floor and use the diamond key on those two rooms, since I'm on the second floor, and the storeroom with uh, the statue is just right across the way from here, I might as well go ahead and see if I can get rid of those two red stones and see what that big statue has for me that I can use. Again, it's probably going to be another key that I'll need to unlock some of the doors here in the precinct, but you never know. Could be something totally unrelated that I'll need later on. Well, I might as well also combine you. Oh shit, I just remembered. There's going to be a liquor in that room. So, I might as well take this, not this, take this with me too, just in case. Might as well also equip this too while I'm at it.
Sucks having no eyeballs, huh? Can you hear the gra the glass? Now you just move over there. Good boy. Who's a good little four-legged freak of nature? Yes, you are. Now you stay over there while I make a grand discovery. Open your heart to me, big boy. Totally unrelated to the whole precinct, but I'll take it. And it's a king bish it's king piece this time. Now you just go ahead and just circle your way around. I can't believe I pulled that off. I thought I would have to run for it. I know I'm going to have to run for it with this. say it was worth the detour. And I might as well put you here next to your sibling. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save. I'll take care of the item that I saw in the in the other room with the magic mirror. Then once I get said item, I'll go to the other side of the station on the first floor and unlock the evidence room. Because I'm going to assume that the evidence room and the office right next to it might have a healing item and other supplies I may need. So I will save those for when I need to inevitably stock up after I uh, get the item from uh, the interrogation room. Okay. Oop. Not this time. Or last time. And if the powers that be will allow it, any time ever. Except for that one time. When there was still fire. You really got me that time. There's more of you now? Well, that's not fair. Okay, uh... Here. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Uh. So where the hell did all you assholes come from? You know, I'm curious, what model of handgun do you have? H&K VP70, manufactured by H&K Germany. Uses 9mm parabellum rounds. Yeah, I definitely think that's a different model from Claire's. I think she's just got a Beretta. Could be wrong, I don't remember exactly what model she has. Now that I'm thinking about it, 
them all. Shotgun, do you have? Remington M. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remington M1100P uses 12 gauge shells. It's a smaller version of the M1100 cut. Yeah, I'm not too knowledgeable about shotguns. So, I don't know how good of a weapon it is. In real life, I mean. Got a first aid spray right there. Hmm. Now, I think it'd be supremely d dickish if the liquor that's undoubtedly waiting on the other side of the magic mirror would try to jump me, regardless of which item I grab first. Just as long as I'm right in front of the magic mirror. Yeah, hi! Kinda saw that coming, I guess. Because you guys really are just dickish in general. But that's okay. At least I saw you coming. So you couldn't lick me. Nobody likes to get licked. Unless it's consensual. In which case, that's just fine. But it's not consensual in my case, so fuck off. Okay, now, uh, what piece is this again? Rook plug. So, Rook, King, and Bishop. Now we need a Queen and a Pawn. And a Knight. Then I think we'll, we'll have all of the different pieces of chess, of, of, uh, chess board, yeah. Don't know why I couldn't say that for a second. So, all in all, about, what, six plugs total? Clearly, we got a bit of a puzzle to work out later on involving these plugs. Hopefully, me and my infinite wisdom can immediately think of the solution when all the pieces and, the, and I'm certain the game board shaped plug set of plugins or wall that I need to stick these things in or whatever the hell I'm going to put them in. I hope the solution will make itself immediately apparent to me. You know, I tried to I tried to come off sounding somewhat smart in a sarcastic way, of course, but I think I just ended up botching it. That's okay though. Cuz let's be honest, we all know that I am prone to moments of sheer stupidity. But hey, it's not too much to hope that I can have moments of genius every now and then, you know? I'm sure we all very much want the, that to happen to us. Got some more film right here. Hmm. Anything else? Like maybe some C4? Clearly not. I think that's probably because Claire's already got it. Damn shame, too. I was hoping to blow some shit up with Leon as well. I really won't be able to blow shit up with Leon until Resident Evil 4. Well, then again... Maybe I'll still have a chance to do so as Leon in this game. I do have the rest of his scenario to uh, contend with. And it has been a, a while, so I really don't remember every little thing that happens. So maybe there's hope that we can get our rookie cop to get some explosives work done before this whole freaking nightmare of an adventure we're on is all done and over with. 
Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna make a mad bomber out of you yet, Leon. Now, let's see what's in this office, shall we? Hmm, curious. It's locked again. And we got this music playing. Uh -oh. I'm kind of... I almost backed myself into a corner there. Okay, you're all there. Good. <laughs> oh wow, I blew his I blew his freaking legs off. I thought you could only do that in Resident Evil 1.5. That's cool. Uh oh. Look at me being distracted by my own carnage. Of course I would be distracted by my own carnage. Gah! You suck. Actually, no, scratch that. I suck. You're only doing what comes naturally to you. Me, on the other hand, I'm just sitting here marveling at myself like an idiot. What's in here? I see you. I almost got too close to you. But thankfully, not close enough. Well, we got the heart key now. Now... All I need now is the club key for... Those two rooms up there, beyond both next to and beyond the heart key. Well, the door with the, that I need to use the heart key on anyway. We almost got this precinct completely unlocked, ladies and gentlemen. And in half, and in f it feels like half the time it took me to do so with Claire. And we got a small key. And we got some more handgun bullets. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, it's your little welcome menu. Again, what a terrific first day on the force you're having, huh, Leon? You got your work cut out for you. But if you're the sort of guy here who likes who likes to have a busy shift, then this must be utterly fantastic for you. I don't think they mentioned zombie outbreaks or anything being an occupational hazard when they hired you, but I'm sure you're smart enough to where you can improvise your way through the, the entire day before you gotta clock out and all that. I mean, you got no one here to report to, unfortunately, but... Well, hey. You're an officer of the law. I'm sure they trust you enough to keep track of your own hours on your own without any anyone supervising you. Because that would be illegal if you uh, didn't clock in and out on time like you should. And you wouldn't do something illegal, would you, blue boy? Of course you wouldn't. You're a good boy scout. Breaking the laws entirely above you. Hmm. What do we have here? Handgun parts? They look like parts for a gun. Maybe I. Oh, hell yeah. C handgun. HK VP70 burst. VP70 with a stock holster. Capable of firing three rounds auto bursts. 
I'm going to assume there's no way I can change it to single fire mode, huh? Okay, so... This may or may not be a good thing. Me giving this gun three, three round burst capability. It'd be good for crowd management, but if I'm just taking down, like, say, single enemies, like, you know, a single zombie and all that, I might end up accidentally wasting a few rounds on them, depending. Assuming I have zero control over my ability to fire how many, up to three rounds at a time. Which will inevitably suck if, if that happens, but probably will. But on the other hand, since I'm dealing with groups of zombies all the all, all the time, I think it's kind of worth the trade-off here, because I do need as much crowd control tools at my disposal as possible without having to rely on the shotgun all the time. Because shotgun ammunition is very precious to me. I don't want to just haphazardly waste it every time I'm dealing with crowds of zombies, so... A handgun like this... It's probably a bigger blessing than I'll probably give it credit than I'm probably giving it credit for right now. Because I'm hoping it will be. Given time. And since I'm here, I think I'll go ahead and save again. I got plenty of ink ribbons. So I really think I can afford to be a little safe happy. I'll probably find even more when I go down to the, into the basement. So, yeah. What do I really have... What do I really have to lose here? Being overly cautious with, uh... Being a little less cautious with saves. So grateful these those crows in that hallway don't follow me out here. Otherwise, it would just be a real bitch just to traverse this little uh, area in general. And by the and by area, I mean just the hallway. Just yeah, I'm think I'm just. I'm sure you guys know probably where I'm getting at. If not, then well, whatever. I can't be articulate all I can't be articulate enough to get my point cross all the time. Unfortunately. Maybe I should have brought a bigger healing item with me. Maybe I'll be fine. Maybe. Wait a minute. I went the wrong way. There we go. Alright. Wait a minute. I can control it? Well, how about that? All I need to do is just tap is just tap the button when I want to fire only single rounds. And hell yeah, this is actually a really good weapon I just made. Ah! Oh, 
great. Uh, okay. I think I'll be fine for now. Especially after I... Okay. Should have grabbed these and made a triple healing solution. Oh well. You failed me, wire. You failed me big time. I ought to find out your manufacturer and call in a complaint. Well, down to the basement of the spooky and scary police station we go. Hopefully there are no liquors down here. Or dogs. And again, I guess you guys are, can be just as much of a shit. Oh shit. Crap, there's a lot of you. You guys are kind of shuffling a bit quickly, too. Ah! Okay, time to use you. And... Might as well use at least one of these shells. Is that all of them? No, not quite. Well, that takes care of you. Okay, I am doing okay on handgun ammunition. I would definitely like to have more some some more shells on me than I already have. Can I go in here? No, of course not. I need a freaking card reader. Now, there better not be anything nasty in this room. Hmm. It sounds like as though the power generator is running. Base station, basement one map. Well, I'll need a club key for the uh, morgue, obviously. But going by what's beyond the uh, parking lot, there's at least one holding cell and probably another one as well going going by the green marks on the map. Oh, am I going to sneeze? Session power using five switches. Okay, so I guess I got to mess with this. There we go. Now I need to find the key card that I'll need to unlock that thing. And we got a green herb here. At least I think I'll need a green, not green, a uh, card key. Probably definitely gonna need a card key. Yep. Now, hopefully I can find said card key, and then I can get whatever's in there, including that item pack. Because, frankly, I think I could really use the extra item space. Okay, I'm fully loaded, loaded on my handgun bullets. Whoa! Hi.
sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. You should have aimed higher. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Mm, okay. Raccoons, Raccoon Police Department, emergency. Dale 911. Not dial, Dale. I don't know what dialing is, but I know about dialing. I'm going to assume Dale involves something fun. He's got another one of these herbs. Alright, let's move this thing. Honestly though, Leon, if your own police force can't really spell dial properly, maybe you chose the wrong police precinct to work for. Just saying. I would think that proper spelling grammar would be kind of important. Ada, in this wait! Line of work. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Just run off on your own without consulting the police officer or anything of where you're going or what you're going to do. Especially in a dangerous situation where all manner of death and destruction is occurring all around our fucking heads. That won't end badly. You you do you. I, I'm sure you know what you're doing. Oh boy, I hear doggies. Rough, rough. Whoa, hi buddy. The cage could break at any moment. Yeah, it could. In that case, I'm just... You weren't so tough. Got anything in here I can use? Besides old puppy chow, maybe? Nope, does not look like it. How unfortunate. The lid is firmly closed. I might be able to open it with the right tool. Oh boy, manhole covers. Manhole covers tend to lead to sewers. And with my recent expe experience with the sewers in this town, I know there's probably going to be giant spiders waiting for me. Fun. What's this? Film? Yep. More film! A control panel to release the lock. The lock appears to be open. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these are definitely holding cells. Our lady in red must be in here somewhere. Probably looking for that reporter. And would you look at that? A blue herb. And now we got a triple herb mixture of all the different types. It's so beautiful, I could cry. 
It'll be a real tragedy when I inevitably have to use it at some point. Shakespeare's got nothing on the tragedy that it's gonna unfold later on. Hey, I see... a manhole cover tool thing. What's it called again? Oh, hi. Wait a minute, where's Ada? Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up, now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? How did you get behind me? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I nah. heard a rumor that he's here in the city. Now I remember something from the first I game. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Hey, G, how you doing? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. I believe you. All right, I'm going. Please, please consult me before you run off. I repeat, we're in a dangerous situation, full of dangerous things that wants to dangerously eat our not-so-dangerous faces off. There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but... It won't be easy. At least you're kind enough to repeat your directions if I'm dumb enough to forget them five seconds later. I'm not that dumb, though. Not quite. Bash me in the head with a rolling pin a couple times, I might be. Since I'm right here with the manhole in question, I might as well go ahead and see what's down there. Because if I remember correctly, there is a safe spot down this manhole, not too far from it. So if I need to uh, get some items or anything of the sort, I can just go in there real quick. I'm going to a nice... I'm going to need to at least drop off a couple of items. Yep, I knew it. More eight-legged freaks for me to contend with. You are all freaky. I hate you. I hope you all die. That wasn't too bad. Thank God that I don't, they, I don't think they can follow me. Even though, logically, they should be able to. I'll grab you. And I'll put you here. Okay. 
I knew I'd find more ink ribbons down here somewhere. No. Yeah, I'm good. Since I got two more right here, I'm gonna go ahead and save again. Actually, no. I think I'll wait a little bit more before I save. Just a bit more. Mm. Sealed firmly. This looks a bit familiar. I think as Sherry, I was on the other side of that gate. Looks like a panel to release the lock. There, there are descriptions for the plugs. King plug insertion, rook plug insertion, bishop plug insertion, knight plug insertion. Well, I don't have a knight plug, so unfortunately I can't really use these just yet. Although, since I'm here, maybe I could just get rid of them real quick. Oh, hey! You got behind hey, me again. Again, somehow. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. I don't really think she cares. It's a dead end. Not quite. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give just, me a boost. I'll go and check. What do you mean upstairs? Just go just go find the stairs. Go up back up to the first floor. Bring me back something useful. Oh. I don't remember running into you as her earlier. As Sherry, I mean. How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. You better give it back to her when you see her again. Hmm. Picture. A picture taken fairly recently. Is that John in there? But yeah, a thing I remembered when they were talking in front of Ben's cell. Uh, a bit of a spoiler for Resident Evil. I'll just simply, uh, but I think it'll only take me probably like about a minute to explain. So let me see. Yes, yeah, bit of a spoiler for Resident Evil, but there was a scientist that worked at the mansion who was named John, who had a uh, lover called Ada. He died at the mansion, got turned into a zombie, but left one last note for for this Ada woman, employing her to uh, spread, employing her to uh, reveal the truth about Umbrella to the public before he passed away. Well, or after, most likely, he passed away. But obviously, we never see any trace of this Ada woman. So, you must be Ada. In which case, I'm sorry to report that uh, your boyfriend's kind of dead. Anyway, now we got that little detail out of the way. All right, I'll take care of you. You definitely have a fast gun. What kind of gun do you have? A Browning HP, manufactured by FN Belgium. Actually, I think that's the same handgun that Claire has.
Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, I think I can definitely afford to waste a few rounds on you guys. What's down here? Oh, wait, now I remember what's down there. Shotgun shells. These will definitely come in handy. Our pipe is under construction. It's definitely worth the detour here, I'll say. Alright, let's go this way. Sewage disposal map. Yep. That is indeed a sewage disposal map. We don't want to mess with you just yet. We gotta move these crates first. Now, is there anything in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so move you first. Then you. You go here. Finally. Maybe I should get an occupation as a bridge builder. And would you look at that, it's the last precinct key that we need. Lucky us indeed. I'm going to assume that uh, the night plug that we'll need for that doorway here in the sewage disposal plant is behind one of those rooms that I'll need the spit that I'll need the club key to in order to unlock. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Because then you didn't hit him in the head. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Leon, come in. I found the girl. And I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. Yeah, so clearly I'll need to go into the chief's office and check out those rooms for items I'll need too. At least I, at least I definitely have a goal set in mind for the next episode. Because I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut the episode off here. We can finish exploring the rest of uh, the precinct and the chief's office for... The night for the night plug and anything else we may need we can save all that for the next episode anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this uh latest episode of resident evil 2 i certainly did 
If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Take care.